All right, let's go over some uh, – I want to go over one specific subject, uh, subject this morning. Let's look when we have confluence, and then we'll go over some uh, trades this morning. We're pretty flat and crude so far, but let's go over uh, – Silver confluence, we have both the 5 sim and 3 sim when they both have the same setup. One second, guys and gals. All right, let's look at yesterday's short. We had over 200 ticks short on crude yesterday. I want to show you something. A lot of you guys caught this yesterday, which is nice. Get off of there. All right, let's talk about confluence real quick. It's a 5 sim, it's a 3 sim. 5 sim to your left. This template's already made up for you. Get these off here real quick. There we go. So we have a 5 sim Rico and we have a 3 sim. I want to show you the difference in the charts. Is that this is a 5 sim. We have a template already set up for you going 30 days back. And this is a 3 sim going 30 days back if you look. What is the difference in charts? The difference is the 5 sim obviously is a longer, uh, larger time frame. So what it's going to do, it's going to catch deeper retracements off my parameters I have. The parameters are totally different from the 5 sim Renko and the 3 sim. So what happens when they both marry up together? What happens when you get this signal and this time frame matching up together? That's called confluence. And you're going to see this a lot. It happens weekly on a lot of different markets. And you want to be prepared for this because this can really, really get you a nice runner in the markets. And it doesn't matter what market you, you are trading. This is one of the top setups you're going to find in the markets. You can both see that my trend filter was down on my larger time frame. You look, my trend filter crossed down. Look at the angle. Look at the angle that we are running down. The market was in a hard downtrend right here. Look at the angle. We fired off right here on the 5 Simrenko. Consequently, at the same exact time, or the high, we crossed down on the 3 Sim. We had a short signal a little bit earlier from this high over here on the 5 Sim. But notice where the 5 Sim fired. And I want you to understand this. This was resistance. There's a full retracement on the 5 sim where it caught the arrow short on the 3 sim. It's over a $2,000 trade with a maximum $130 stop. You had a $200 trade, a $2,000 trade potential with a $130 stop. All right, you're going to see these trades come up when you get confluence. So when you match the 5 and the 3, Right here, when you match them both up, that is what's called confluence. A lot of you guys and gals caught that for a nice trade. Now, when the market is screaming down, he had sell signals on the three sim with the five sim settings here, and here. And here. So you can use your shorter term settings that I do not show in the room. Whoever leases a program, use the five sim Rinko, I mean the five sim Rinko settings with the three sim 30 days back. If you're screaming down, if you're angled down hard and the market is just way away from the trend filter, you can see the spread. Look at the spread. Look at the angle. We're way away. You get opportunities to get short here, here, and here on the way down. So you see that all the time. But if you just want to trade the deeper retracements before the uh, train gets in motion, look for the confluence. I want to make sure you guys understand that. A lot of you guys pick that up, and we're good to go. Let me roll over to gold real quick. we got a trade running right now on gold. Look at the spread on gold. We had a big vertical movement on gold this morning. Big vertical. Deep retracement. This matched up with high value area at these lows. It's a high value area buy without arrows. 
It's a high value area buy without arrows. High value area mean market profile. Break retest with positive market delta. So we had two buys here and here. Even if you don't have arrows, you can still trade off market profile by itself with positive market delta or negative market delta. That's order flow. If I look at gold, I'll bring it over. Look at this confluence. Let's talk about confluence this morning. That's a triple stacked area. My most important is my volume profile, my thick red line, and my thin red line is my developing. They are over top each other. That is confluence. Look over here. On my arrows, arrow trend filter, right on top of my MA. That's confluence. You get a four times stacked area right there to bring this market up. You're going to see this weekly on a lot of different markets where it'll stop right on my value areas and right on top of my trend filter on the arrows. Okay? So just really nice way to look at the markets. This is all order flow. It's not lagging indicators. It's very leading. It's the beauty of the system. 